Has Meghan Markle and Prince Harry just been banned by King Charles from visiting Australia? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this one, shall we? So, a royal expert is claiming that Megzi and Hazard cannot go to Australia during their fake royal tour for one important reason. And so, yeah, we've got royal reporter Louise Roberts, uh, who believes that, yes, Hazza and Megzi are planning, as far as I'm concerned, a fake royal world tour after their successful Nigeria visit. Uh, however, she has criticised the couple for their previous claims of one in privacy because you can't really maintain privacy whilst going on a fake royal world tour, can you really? Uh, but she tells Sky News Australia, quote, in May after Nigeria, and that was a successful faux, fake, royal tour for them, let's face it, has uh, made the comment they want to do more of this. Uh, speaking on the channel's royal report, she also added that they are obsessed with privacy, but a world tour is a direct contradiction. Yeah, it is. Now, she also mentioned that Hazard and Megzi are unable to travel to Australia in the near future because an unofficial visit could actually clash with King Charles and Queen Camilla's upcoming tour of Australia in October, saying they can't go where Charles and Camilla will go. They can't go to Australia. So has Megzi and Hazard actually being banned by King Charles from visiting Australia. I'm going to give you a little bit more information during this particular Daily Nerd, and you guys can decide, but let's put it this way. If this is the case, it's a stroke of genius from the king. It's an absolute masterclass in playing the ultimate chess move. I'll explain more in a moment, but stay tuned. Um, and so, yeah, this is the thing, right? Australia is a founding member of the modern Commonwealth, has been an active participant in Commonwealth organizations, programs, and meetings for over 70 years. Now, you'll remember a Daily Nerd that I released a month or two ago, which was all about, was Megzi and Hazza trying to secretly hatch a plot to take over the Commonwealth, to take it over from the royal family, like a hostile takeover, right? And so, King Charles, according to the reports, had noticed that this may have been the case. And this report came out just over a month ago, which was where he was trying to take steps to stop the Commonwealth inviting Megzi and Hazard to visit. Now, this was off of the heels of their Nigerian visit and reports coming through that Ghana, who is also a member of the Commonwealth, was looking to want to invite Megzi and Hazard to their country. So it seemed like a pattern was emerging and King Charles was like, Oi, Commonwealth, hands off Hazard and Megzi. The, the, you, you, don't invite them, don't invite them, don't invite them, right? And so according to this report, King Charles had got a new priority, stopping Hazard and Megzi from visiting Commonwealth countries. Uh, now royal author Tom Quinn, which is, he's considered to be the new Omid Scorbitic, that as you will, uh, has claimed that King Charles was angry uh, with Hazara Megzi uh, for their trip to Nigeria and is now doing everything in his power to stop it from happening again. Uh, suggesting to the mirror quote, King Charles is in a terrible bind. He would love to strip Megzi and Hazara of their royal titles, but fears this will look vindictive. On the other hand, he has to find a way to put a stop to any future trips by Hazara and Megzi to other Commonwealth countries that has now become his number one priority. Again, I'm asking the question for a friend here has Megzi and Hazard been banned by King Charles from visiting Australia because over a month ago they went to Nigeria hot off the heels Ghana then is wanting to invite them they're members of the Commonwealth as well you've then got this report that King Charles is looking at ways to stop Commonwealth countries from inviting Megzi and Hazard and to stop Megzi and Hazard essentially visiting other Commonwealth countries as part of their fake royal tour situation 
And now we've got a raw reporter in Australia that I mentioned right at the beginning turning around and saying, look, Hazard and Megsy are planning this fake world royal tour situation, but they can't come to Australia because that's going to clash with uh, King Charles and Queen Camilla's visit in October. Effectively, as King Charles banned Megsy and Hazard from visiting Australia by making this chess move, to visit Australia in October. Interesting question, right? Uh, Tom Quinn also suggesting that King Charles might use back channels in order to try to block any further invitations to the wayward couple. However, he admitted that will prove very difficult. Well, no, not really. Because other than the reports after the Nigeria trip that Ghana wanted to extend an invitation for Megzi and Hazard to visit them, to my knowledge, there have been no further reports where any other Commonwealth country has turned around and says, we want to uh, invite Megzi and Hazard to visit our country too. If anything, we've now got this report from an Australian royal reporter turning around and saying, Megzi and Hazard can't visit us because King Charles and Queen Camilla are going to be visiting us in October, so it's going to clash. So... Yeah, it does look like, as far as I'm concerned, the king has used back channels to try to block any further invitations to Megzi and Hazza, and it hasn't proven very difficult at all, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, he also says that King Charles might be a little bit unnerved, unsteady about Hazza and Megzi's visit to Nigeria, saying that the ultimate fear for King Charles and Prince William is that Meghan's rebelliousness actually ends up making her more appealing than the understated members of official Team Royal. Now, this is the thing, right? Uh, Prince William and King Charles wanted one key thing made clear about Megzi and Hazard's Nigerian trip, which was essentially they are fake royals. This is not a royal trip whatsoever. No, 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 and no. Even the High Commissioner in Nigeria turned around and said that Megzi and Hazard were visiting Nigeria on an unofficial, non-royal private citizen kind of basis. But it's gone even further than that now because they've received no further invitations, to my knowledge, as per, you know, public uh, news from any other Commonwealth countries for them to visit other than Ghana. And again, you've now got Australia turning around and saying they can't come over because King Charles and Queen Camilla are going to be coming over in October anyway. This is the thing, right? And, you know, uh, Tom uh, also saying here, quote, after Nigeria, one thing is certain. Huge efforts will go into changing the way the royal family deals with its role in the Commonwealth. Steps have already been taken via official channels to try to lessen the chance that other Commonwealth countries invite Megzi and Hazard to visit. And again, this to me has started off with Australia turning around and saying... Megzi and Hazard can't visit us because King Charles has called dibs on us first. So again, my question is, has King Charles, through an epic chess move of chess moves, just banned Megzi and Hazard from visiting Australia for their world fake royal tour? It's up to you. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about King Charles, reportedly maybe banning Megzi and Hazza from visiting Commonwealth country Australia and I bet you do then make sure you send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters